Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Saturday, January 8th, and it's currently 8.58 p.m. And I have Claudia here. Look how small and cute and Claudia is just sitting so peacefully on my lap. Guys, I am telling you, if I liked Claudia better as a girl because I am so desperate for a newborn girl, I would have kept Claudia in my personal collection. No, I'm not saying that just because I painted and rooted her. I'm honestly saying that because I really love how she turned out. I love the coloring. Um, she's like a baby, very close to my skin tone. I feel like Scarlett is like one or two bit like tad lighter than me. And then I just feel like Scarlett is just like one tad bit darker than me. But still, I feel like we go together so well. But I just love this baby as a baby boy which is why i am selling um claudia because i just like her as a boy better than a girl but if i liked her as a girl better than a boy then she would have stayed or he would have stayed in my personal collection anywho i am going to be feeding claudia and i'm going to be doing claudia's hair and telling you guys um about hair care and how to keep your baby's hair um nice and not falling out <laughs> so we have this dr brown's bottle this is for Elena. um when i got javen she sent this with for Elena because she is i cannot speak i wasn't gonna do this video but i realized i didn't have a video to post for tomorrow which is sunday <laughs> so i'm all over the place but um when i got javen she sent this bottle for Elena, and she is also the baby's um, little reborn aunt so um yeah a little fun fact i think i've said that or mentioned it and uh we have some little fake milk in here and we're just going to feed claudia a little bit a little feeding and then can i get this in <laughs> and then i'm going to give you guys some hair care okay we're just gonna have to go like this i'm gonna give you guys i'm gonna move the plastic <laughs> I'm going to give you guys some hair care tips for you guys' reborn babies. Um, and I can probably start sharing some tips right now. So you guys are probably wondering about the plastic baggie. So I didn't have any saran wrap. So um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've been seeing a lot of people in like the background of their Instagram photos have saran wrap behind the baby's head. And I was like, well, what the heck is that for? And um, I didn't comment because if you ask anything nowadays on Instagram, people just get so offended and like think you're trying to be rude. So I didn't ask. I just happened to check the comments and someone else had asked. And they were like, uh, what's that plastic? Um, behind your baby's head or like what's the purpose and things like that the person was actually really nice so i should have just commented but you can never be too sure and um they were just basically saying that the saran wrap prevents the baby's head from breaking off and falling out and i just never got saran wrap even though i clearly needed some because you guys know Eileen when she lays down the back her hair um starts to thin out which i told you guys that and it's nothing to do with her rooting. Her rooting is impeccable. Look at me with the big words, 2022. Her rooting is very amazing. And her, I don't know if she has human hair, but I think she has mohair. It's very, very, very good. So it doesn't have anything to do with her artist. It doesn't have anything to do with the way she's rooted. And it doesn't have anything to do with her hair type or texture or, yeah, her hair in general. It's just the baby's really do mimic real life babies it's just the same way as if a real newborn baby is laying on their back 24 7 and their hair falls out in the back um her hair didn't fall out but it's thinning out not anymore though anywho why am i taking like 30 minutes to explain this so when i had bought javen's glass eyes from mcpherson they had sent these plastic baggies they sent like six of them because there's enough for all of the babies including Scarlett and Claudia so all the babies have that over their head to prevent um their hair falling out long story short or long story long story <laughs> and Chandler has one on right now Eileen um 
Zaire, everybody. Everyone has one on. So that's what it is. And um, I'm done feeding Claudia now. And I'm going to style Claudia's hair and talk about some more ways that you can uh, keep it intact, you know? So just some hair care tips. So I personally only use oh and by the way for the plastic baggies i just started doing that when i noticed eilina hair falling out because i've never really had any problems with any of my other babies but you know every baby is different and yeah so i use a spray bottle and i got this from the dollar store and it came with two other ones but it wasn't spray bottles it was just two bottles two travel size bottles and I just personally use only water on my baby's hair. All my babies have mohair except for Javen. So I can mix products and stuff like that. But I feel like the best way to keep your baby's hair intact is just with water. And of course you can use oil if their hair is really really bad. But I don't recommend using oil 24-7. As well as I don't recommend using conditioner 24-7 for the babies that have mohair. I'm talking about mohair because you guys know with human hair you could do a lot more with it into it so i use a spray bottle just with water in it and that does all of my baby's hair justice the ones that i painted as well as the ones that are in my collection painted by someone else so the first thing i do is i wet my baby's hair and um i think i've seen a few videos where people don't wet their baby's hair which is okay but me personally um, I have curly hair and I never ever comb my hair while it's dry never ever it breaks off it hurts and it falls out which is the same thing as break off so I don't do it for the babies I always have to spray some type of water I feel like the babies always have to have moisture in their hair when you're trying to comb it or brush it that's just my personal opinion um, again like I said I have curly hair and I always wet my hair before doing it now also wetting it makes it more easy to comb out you guys see how i'm just sliding the comb through there it's not tangled up and it's not getting stuck in the comb no hair is falling out so that's also another reason why if i were to comb claudia's hair while it was dry i would not be able to run my comb through claudia's hair and if it's uh really really bad I start at the ends and then I go up but Claudia's hair is pretty good um, since I have that bag over <laughs> Claudia's hair so I don't need to start at the ends I could just go from the root to the ends but if your baby hair is really bad start at the end so it doesn't break off so I start with a comb I comb Claudia's hair first and then I brush it because if you just try to brush it um, without combing it first and it's tangled up the next time that you comb it or try to do it it's probably going to break off again i'm just doing tips and what i saw uh, works best for my baby's hair um you don't have to do this this is just what i do another thing that i do is i don't style my baby's hair every day or very often um the last time I styled this baby's hair, you guys were there <laughs> when I do my changing videos. I styled their hair. And I know it seems that I style their hair quite frequently since all I do is changing videos. But that's really not the case. And sometimes when I take pictures, I don't even style the baby's hair. That's why the baby's hair has always looked so crazy in our pictures. Um, When I did Javen and Eilina's pictures... I did not redo their hair because their hair was a few days old. I didn't redo it. I didn't fresh it up. I just left it and took the photos. So, as you guys can see, the comb did really, really good on Claudia's hair. And I don't really need to brush it, but I will brush it anyways. And I rooted Claudia with ruby red hair and it's curved. So that means it has like a little wave to it, you know? And I know his hair looks like he's bald, but I promise he's not. I will uh, take you guys off the tripod real quick so I can show you guys his hair. But he's not bald. I don't know why it looks like that. From some angles, it does. I did make his hair at the top more thin, and I wanted to make his hair in the back really thick and long. So, 
There's Claudia. He or she is for sale. This baby is a newborn size. This is a three month outfit. So it's a little big. But this baby is a three month size. And um, he or she can go home as a boy or girl. Can fit newborn and uh, preemie. But I put newborn on this baby because I feel like preemie might be too small. Even though this baby is on a 15 to 17 inch body. So technically he or she is supposed to wear um, preemie. Sorry I'm taking you guys off the tripod. But the way I weighted this baby makes him or her the perfect newborn size. Okay. Okay, so here is Claudia's hair. Again, I promise he doesn't have any ball spots or anything. His hair is super, super good. It can move in any direction that I want. If I want to move it to the side, it can. Or if I wanted to move it all the way up, it can. But... I just style it how I rooted it, which is just down right here. But like I said, um, his hair can move in any direction. But when doing your baby's hair, just always be careful. If you see that your baby hair is thinning out in some spots, or it looks just really bald in some spots, and it never looked bald before, or if your baby have a full head of hair and all of a sudden you see just a patch of hair missing, you definitely want to be cautious and take caution to that. Um, my best bet is to stop styling it, stop putting headbands on if it's a girl, because that can also cause breakage, um, and humans as well. <laughs> so stop styling it, don't comb it, don't brush it, don't do anything to it. Um, number two, don't uh, try to resist from headbands. That's why you guys haven't saw Elena with headbands on, um, because... Her hair was thinning out. Uh, number three, go ahead and get some saran wrap and place that on your baby's hair. And number four, try to not use any combs or toothbrushes or baby brushes. Try using your hands to style it or your fingers, your fingertips. Try using your fingertips to style your baby's hair instead of a comb or a brush or toothbrush, baby brush, whatever you were using. Just try using your fingertips instead. So I'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod because this camera is big. <laughs> it's heavy. <It's> so heavy. <laughs> okay, let me pick back up Claudia. So those are my hair tips and hair cares. This is straight off the dome. <laughs> I didn't write any of this down because like I said, it was a last minute video. So if you guys would make a part two with me being a little bit more educated and some more tips and tricks that I forgot or just left out, then let me know in the comments below. And that time I'll be more prepared because I'll have more time to do it and I can actually write it down and go off of that. But here's Claudia. Claudia curls up so perfectly in your arm so cute guys look at claudia claudia is my latest creation uh born september 25th so this baby is a libra <laughs> if you're into signs and all that i just want to show you guys a little bit more of claudia's movement claudia moves so freely now uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you have put your baby on zip tie, so when your baby is fresh, brand new, just got put together, your baby is a little bit stiff. So it doesn't move its arms and it doesn't move its legs freely and it doesn't turn its head freely. But since I created this baby in September and put him her together in September, she's definitely more flexible and can start moving and things like that. She, oh, there goes my camera. She was a little stiff um, when I first put her together but you guys could see she's definitely more flexible she just flops see that she just flops right in your arms look at her little leggies so cute guys i apologize for the horrible lighting it's what time is it it's 9 13 so yeah anywho that's my video look at <laughs> Can you guys see? Look at her hair. Or his hair. Oh my god, so crazy. So crazy hair. I really do like this mohair though. Um, I definitely do want to paint me a baby. Not anytime soon, but I want to paint me a baby and use this exact mohair. Maybe a different color. Um, 
but this mohair is really good super soft very silky and shiny so anywho i'm gonna put the bag back over but yes all of the babies have bags over their heads and the bags are big eileen <laughs> is probably like the only one who can actually fit her bag because her head is huge but for zaire's bag and for chandler's bag it's like swallows down but it looks like they're just went to the hair salon and just got their hair done but that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope this helped any of you who have a baby with a rooted hair or if you notice any hair losses or changes in your baby's hair i hope these tips helped you let me know what do you guys think and i am on instagram at my underscore reborns you guys can go ahead and give me a follow over there i am on reborns.com under melanated babies that's where scarlet and claudia is listed so you guys can follow me over there as well i do have a membership if you guys want to join everything that i stated is linked in this description down below all right that's it for this video if you guys like to give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want including video requests and if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also ring that bell so you can always be notified when i post another video i'll talk to you guys later bye